Hello, Geminis. This is your ex reading for the 17th through the 23rd. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had. Let's see. Gemini. Hmm. I think you had one where, you know, you were really, there was a lot of patience, I feel like, that you guys <laughs> felt like you had to have for each other here. Um, this was a very uh, sexually charged relationship, I feel. I, I feel like both of you were um, very into each other, for sure. And I think this was a relationship, you guys, and I know a lot of you are not going to want to hear this because this is your ex, but I feel like this person was possibly meant to, you know, be with you for the long haul is what I'm getting. Um, but of course, free will comes into play and then, you know, shit goes haywire. Okay. So as I'm looking at the laptop screen, I see the King of Swords under the bottom of the deck. So somebody is really kind of still, you know, really into this situation, um, observing, kind of probably realizing that, um, yeah, this, this is something that, you know, you probably still want and you miss is what I'm getting here, okay? And I think this goes for the both of you. Uh, maybe Sagittarius energy you're dealing with or any other fire sign, Aries or Leo. Okay, let's see how you guys view the relationship. Look at that. Queen of Swords here. <laughs> I feel like you probably think that, you know, the other person kind of sabotaged shit. You know, like... Um, maybe they like disrupted the harmony maybe they argued a lot maybe they were very kind of cutthroat you know wanted things their way they just would not let you be happy is probably how you're viewing the relationship let's see how they view the relationship here like it was always something it was always something they had to bow down for like they had to like you know, just kind of keep the peace with you all the time. Like you guys were constantly, you know, starting and stopping and, you know, breaking up and, you know, not talking to each other just to kind of like keep from, you know, blowing your top here. Hmm. Very in and out. Let's see. <clears throat> how you perceived your ex here. Now let's first see what the what your current situation is. Hmm. Currently, I feel like you guys are thinking about this person. Um, but I think that they are very hard to deal with. Um, very strong individual. Very, uh, they speak out. You know, they don't hold their tongue. And I think that sometimes that tongue can be a little harsh. So I think, you know, it takes a strong person to actually deal with the person that um, your ex is what I'm thinking that you are feeling here. Leo energy again. <clears throat> Let's see what their current position is. Their current situation is they are working they are working. This person is probably more focused on their job right now than anything. Capricorn energy here. I think that's kind of what eases their mind. is taking their mind off of, of your situation currently. Um, they're working with people. They're probably studying and learning. Um, perfecting their craft. Whatever that is here. Okay. Let's see how you guys perceive your ex. How does Gemini perceive their ex? Hmm. Maybe you think they're out dating, having a good old grand time while you are not feeling your best. Maybe you're thinking that they reunited with another ex. They're with someone else currently. But I think you see them overall as like being this happy-go-lucky person currently when they were probably um, Mr. or Mrs. McGruff with you. <laughs> okay? Let's see how your ex perceives you. Mm, okay, let's see what this is. Hmm, you broke their heart. 
either they perceive you as you broke their heart or they broke your heart. Um, but I feel like this is the energy that both of you share. Um, it could have been a third party that they felt like you put them in or vice versa. I think a, both of you are sharing this energy. But the thing about the three of hearts is for me, okay, is that both of you have a stake in this heartache, okay? But then there is the reality of the situation coming straight down the middle, middle with that Ace of Swords, okay? Both of you have your own thoughts about what hurt you, and then there is the reality of the situation. So I think this is a shared energy. Maybe you guys feel like, um, you know, they were working with other people or talking to other people, and they felt like you were conversing with other people, dealing with other people as well. Some kind of, you know, something along those lines now does not have to be an intimate relationship it could very well be that you know your mother or your father was interfering maybe your friends were interfering something of that nature like somebody else um had a hand in the reason why you guys are not together possibly okay let's see what your feelings are about getting back together <sighs> You think that there's probably, um, it's not going to happen. And I don't think that you don't want it to happen. I think maybe you feel like maybe too many things have been said, done, um, you know, actions taken maybe to come back from this. I think that, you know, but what you're thinking, my Gemini friends, that's not true. Okay. The Nine of Swords is that you are worrying for nothing. It's nowhere near what you think it is, okay? So if you're thinking that you can't come back from this, maybe you said some things that you didn't mean, or or maybe you said some things that you did mean. You just didn't say them in the way that you feel like, you know, it was an ease of delivery. You know, whatever that is, that's not true, okay? You're worrying for nothing. And I feel like you guys are really worrying here. Um, you probably think about this person when you're at work, when you are trying to hang out with your friends, trying to get over this situation. Like they constantly seem to fall on your mind. I feel like you guys are really wanting to reunite. You just don't know how to is what I'm thinking here, okay? For some of you. Let's see <clears throat> how your ex feels about getting back together here. I think they would be a they I think they would be willing to but I think it would have to be something that they feel like um you know was stable because I get the feeling that they don't they didn't feel like it was a whole lot of stability with you guys it was like it was constantly back and forth if one of you wasn't talking to the other one then the other one wasn't talking it's like you know, whenever you guys got into it, maybe you couldn't really like sit down and work things out that, you know, the easier thing was to like just stop talking just to ignore somebody even. OK, so I think they're looking for something, you know, very, very solid, very grounded, very stable. They want to they want to know that, you know, somebody will be there through thick and thin regardless that you guys can work out your differences, your issues here. OK, so let's see how you guys can help the situation along. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. This is very strong, you guys, because we have a nine of swords right here worrying for nothing. This is what's keeping you back, keeping you held back, keeping you held down. But this is saying that, you know, this can happen, but you have to have faith that it can. You have to be willing to step out on faith, okay? Hmm. Let's see what they can do, your ex. Hmm. I think they really need to evaluate the situation if you come back though or maybe they need to come back and make an offer could go several different ways I think that the approach needs to be kind of slow because the queen of swords is like eh 
you know i think they need to not you know come with that sharp tongue i think they need to come in slow and steady um maybe you know have their emotions in check and um and work with you you guys need to work together here okay let's see what the potential outcome is here hmm Look at this, look at this, look at this. You know, Gemini's. And I feel like your your readings that I've been doing, no matter which one it is, it's like repetitive. But there is a strong Aries energy here. You are waiting. You are waiting on them, or you feel like they are waiting on you. And guess what? They have your card here in the outcome. So what I what I get is that this person strongly loves you and I feel like they will have to make a choice. They will have to make a choice between themselves and you. Because they're looking right at the lovers. They're going to have to make a, a choice here. But I get that possibly my Gemini friends that you may have to be the one that actually goes to them. Could be a Taurus energy here as well. Maybe Aries Taurus cuss. Hmm. Maybe. But here you're waiting on someone. So for you to be waiting on them, it seems like you are getting um, what you deserve here. You're waiting on what you deserve and they love you here because here we are with the lover's card, Gemini, and they're really thinking about, you know, this choice and whether or not to offer. They're really thinking about it. Um, okay, I'm excited about your reading. But anyway, okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I see like a strong potential for reconciliation here for sure. You have two aces as well. All right, so I will be speaking with you soon.